Hello, I'm Miss Dara. I'm glad you're here. Today we're singing about nursery rhymes and mother goose rhymes. See how many you know with me. Can you shake, shake, shake your hands? Let's get ready to make some music. Get ready, get set, sing a song. Get ready, get set, sing, sing, sing. It makes a happy feeling when we all sing together. Get ready, get set, sing. Show me how you clap your hands. Get ready, get set, clap your hands. Wiggle our fingers, here we go. Get ready, get set. Wiggle your fingers, get ready, get set. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It makes a happy feeling when we all wiggle together. Get ready, get set. Wiggle. All right, let's wake up our feet. Show me how you tap your tootsies. Get ready, get set. Do a little bouncing up and down. Get ready, get set, bounce up and down. Good. Get ready, get set, bounce, bounce, bounce. It makes a happy feeling when we all bounce together. Get ready, get set, bounce. Get ready, get set. Now sit. Get ready, get set, now sit still. It makes a happy feeling when we all sit together. It makes a happy feeling when we all share together. It makes a happy feeling when we all sing together. Get ready, get set, sing. Good job, everybody. Well, today, we are reading lots of different Mother Goose rhymes, and we're going to take some of them from this book about Mother Goose. It's illustrated by one of my favorite people, Mary Inglebright, and we'll be reading some of the rhymes together. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. Where are your eyes? Here are my eyes. Can you point to your eyes? Here are my eyes to look around. Here are my ears. Where are your ears? To listen to the sound. Here is my nose. Put your finger on your nose to smell something sweet. Not in, on, yeah. And here is my mouth that likes to what? Eat. Let's add some music to that. Show me your eyes. Here are my eyes to look around. And here are my ears to listen to the sound. Here is my nose to smell something sweet. And here is my mouth that likes to eat. That's right. Do you like to play peekaboo? You know how to do that, right? Yeah, we hide our eyes, peek up, boop, I see you. Well, we have a song about that, and it goes like this, hide your eyes. Peek up, boop, where is, and can you say your name? I'll say my name in there, right? Maybe I'll say, where's my friend, because you're my friend watching me. So I'll go, peek up, boop, where is my friend? Peek up, boop. I see you, Pika Boo. Where is my friend? Pika 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 Boo. I see you.
Let's do that together. We'll add some guitar music to that. Hide your eyes. Here we go. Peek out. Singing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Now wasn't that a dainty dish to set before a king? The king was in the counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. When along came a black bird and sat upon her nose. Mary had a pretty bird, feathers bright and yellow. Slender legs, upon my word, he was a pretty fellow. The sweetest note he always sung, which much delighted Mary. She often, when the cage was hung, sat hearing her canary. I have two little birds. I have what color? A yellow bird. And what color? A red bird. Do you have your bird puppets handy? No, it's okay. You don't need them. You know why? You have your pointer fingers. Would you hold up your two bird fingers? And I'll hold up my puppets. And we're going to hold them here. Hello, little birdies. Tweet, tweet. Two little birdies sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Can you hide one finger behind your back? Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Oh, come back, Jill. Two little birdies sitting on a wall, one named Peter, the other named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Two little birdies way up high in the tree, one named Tweedle, the other named Dee. Fly away, Tweedle, fly away, Dee. Come back, Tweedle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where'd Tweedle go? Do you see Tweedle anywhere? Tweedle, where'd he go? I don't see him. Do you, can, boys and girls, can you help me call Tweedle? Let's see if he comes by. Tweedle, Tweedle, you have to call Robert. Tweedle, there he is. Come back, D. There they are, two little birdies. Well, birds come in all different colors, all different sizes. Besides yellow and red, you might see a bluebird come by your window. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Aren't you tired? Find a little boy and tap him on the shoulder. Find a little boy and tap him on the shoulder. Find a little boy and tap him on the shoulder. Oh, Johnny, aren't you tired? Red bird, red bird, through my window. Red bird, red bird, through my window. Red bird, red bird, through my window. Oh, Jenny, aren't you tired? Find a little girl and tap her on the shoulder. Find a little girl and tap her on the shoulder. Find a little girl, tap, tap her on the shoulder. Oh, Jenny, aren't you tired? Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So I cried, little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? 
I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and far away he flew. Can you take your hands and go clap, clap, clap? Let me hear you. One, two, three, that's it. I take my little hands, I go clap, clap, clap. I take my little hands, I go clap, clap, clap. I take my little hands, I go clap, 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 all day long. That's the rhythm. Now let's take our feet and we'll tap, tap, tap. I take my little feet, I go tap, tap. Take my little mouth, I go. I take my little mouth, I go. I take my little mouth, I go. All day long. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. What's inside my box? Oh, I thought I saw something moving inside. Uh-oh, the whole box is shivering and shaking. Are they playing peekaboo just like we did? Knock, knock, peekaboo. I see you. Can you tell what's inside? There are one, two, three, Little white mice, they're playing hide and seek with the kitty cat. I hope the cat doesn't find you. Oh, and in they go. You know what, little mice? There's no kitty cat here. Do you want to come back out? Yeah, it's safe. Come on back out, little mice. You can listen to the next song. Three white mice, three white mice, they're having fun, they're having fun. They sleep inside the box all day, come out when it's time to play. When the cat comes by, they run away. They're three white mice, three white mice. Six little mice sat down to spin. Kitty passed by and she peeped in. What are you doing, my little men? Weaving coats for gentlemen. Shall I come in and cut off your threads? No, no, Mistress Kitty, you'd bite off our heads. Oh, no, I'll not. I'll help you to spin. That may be so, but you can't come in. Do you know what this is? It is. It's a clock. The clock goes tick. Top. Or maybe we can make that sound with our tongue like we did. The clock tells us what time it is. It's one o'clock right now. And my little mouse friend is running up the clock. Boys and girls, can you make that tick-tock sound? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Let's get the guitar and we'll sing about that clock. Now what happens if the clock strikes two? And we have two mice. Ooh. Hickory dickory dock. Two mice ran up the clock. The clock struck two, the mice said boo. Hickory dickory dock. We had one, we had two. What number comes next? Hickory dickory dock. Three mice ran up the clock. The clock struck three, the mice said, Whee! Hickory dickory dock. One, two, three. What comes next? Hickory dickory dock. Four mice ran up the clock. The clock struck four, the mice said, No more. 
little mice knew somebody was coming. Maybe somebody like these one, two, three little kittens. They lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have lost. <gasps> you lost your mittens, you naughty kittens. And they began to cry. Meow, meow. They began to cry. But you know what, boys and girls? Those three little kittens remembered that they had been wearing their mittens outside. They got them all dirty yesterday. Maybe Mama Cat put them in the wash. So they ran over to the dryer and there they were, out tumbled one, two, three pairs of mittens. Those three little kittens, they found their mittens and they began to sigh. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. You found your mittens, you good little kittens. Now you can have some pie. Meow, meow, we can have some pie. But we'll put the three little kittens over here so they can listen to their song. The three little kittens, they found their mittens and they began to sigh. Oh, mother dear, see here. you good little kittens now you shall have some pie meow meow we shall have some pie and while those kitty cats are busy eating we have another cat who's busy making music. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Then up Jack got, and home he did trot as fast as he could caper to Sister Deb, who patched his head with vinegar and brown paper. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and he pulled out a plum and he said, What a good boy am I. Jack Sprat could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean, and so betwixt them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. 
the sheeps in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He is under the haystack, fast asleep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Old Mother Hubbard, she went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, her cupboard was bare, and so her poor dog had none. Old Mother Hubbard, she went to the cupboard, found that the cupboard was bare. And she walked out the door to the grocery store. What do you think she found there? Miles of aisles bound to bring smiles and fill a hungry tummy for sure. So hop on the cart, it's good for the heart to go shopping at the grocery store. Oh, the wheels roll and we stroll down the aisle where they keep the produce. They got apples, tomatoes, zucchini, and potatoes. They can turn the oranges to juice. Now take a little ride where the lobsters hide in a tank like a seafood shop. And if you follow me, I know a bakery that's got goodies to your eyes might pop. I've got a dream that makes me smile. Mama dropped me all home in the ice cream aisle. I got a spoon in my pocket. I'm as fast as a rocket, and I never do away with a tummy ache. A tisket, a tasket, you fill up your basket, take it to the checkout line. Then you stand and you wait and you anticipate all the goodies you still might find. But the neatest thing of all is the tiny Super Bowl. It glows in the dark, you'll see. It's good for the heart to hop on the cart. Won't you come a grocery shopping with me? Don't ever doubt that you might run out. You know where we can find it for sure. So hop on the cart. It's good for the heart. Shopping at the grocery store. Just hop on the cart. It's good for the heart. Shopping at the grocery store. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread, and she kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Our story today is called The Missing Tarts. It's by B.G. Hennessy. Lots of baking going on. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. Where are the tarts? called the Queen of Hearts. Let's look up the hill, said Jack and Jill. Not in my bowl, said old King Cole. Check the cupboard, said old Mother Hubbard. Ask a cat, said Jack Spratt. Not in my corner, said little Jack Horner. Follow that sheep, cried little Bo Peep. Here's a clue, 
said Little Boy Blue. You'll find them soon, said the man in the moon. They can't be far, twinkled the star. The queen of hearts, she found those tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts who took the tarts had given them all away. And who did he give them to? The old woman who lived in a shoe who had so many children she didn't know what to do. The end. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Ouch! All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty, sitting on a wall, sitting on a wall. First he wiggles this way, then he woggles that way. See him fall, see him fall. Poor Humpty Dumpty, I hope he gets back together soon. And we have one more song before it's time for us to go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, tap your feet. If you're happy and you know it, tap your feet. If you're happy. Bye-bye.